What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here to talk to you today about my favorite AIWB holster for the Glock 33. I will go out on a limb and say it is the best holster available for the Glock 43, but it is not this holster. It's this holster. The holster you see here is the Harry's holster set up with the discrete carry concept clips with a mod claw and a wedge in the infiltrator configuration. You may be thinking that this holster looks very similar to this, and you would be correct. This is the old version of the Harry's holster. This Harry made this holster for me back in, uh, I guess it was July of this year, and it saw a lot of use. Uh, recently, about a month ago, he shipped out his new version of the holster, and he has absolutely crushed it, and I really don't think anybody is keeping up with him at this point. I'll go into why that is. So a holster is a collection of fine details that really differentiate it from all of the other products. There's about a thousand companies that are making Kydex holsters at this point. And I really do believe that Harry has taken it to the next level with his new line of holsters, especially and specifically for the subcompact line. You might notice that the blue holster looks a little bit longer than the brown holster and it is it's about three quarters of an inch longer if you really kind of look inside there you can see the end of the muzzle there's empty space at the bottom of the holster the reason it's there is because when it's riding inside your belt there's your belt line there's more weight inside the holster and it actually presses into you in a more natural position this is about the length of a glock 19 uh, holster which is really, really nice. You notice all of these other extra holes and naysayers will say that that's just gonna let debris into the holster. It has um, a little bit of space where stuff can fall out at the bottom. You notice it is set up for a red dot cut with suppressor height sight channel all baked into a standard design. But what's really exciting about it is this big flare you see at the opening. His old holsters did not have that. If you look at the shape of the sweat guard, it is highly sculpted and contoured. The, the trimming on his holsters is amazing. If you look at all of the way the holster is blocked, it's really kind of second to none. Uh, the definition he's getting on this is really something special. So he uses a CNC to precision cut all of these holes so his, consist or his consistency is top notch. Uh, one holster is going to be very 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 similar as much as a handmade product can be to the next because the machine is punching out all the holes i mean look at the definition and all the cuts there's no burrs nothing all the edges are very cleanly polished what really matters especially for something with aiwb if you're an aiwb guy you're worried about retention so this is the old holster listen for it okay it went in passes the shake test but you hear that rattle the retention is very, very good, so much so that this was my favorite Glock 43 holster that I tried by a wide margin, and I probably tried four or five before I had this version. Ready? Listen for this. It's in there. Almost no rattle. Harry uses the, you can see it better on this model, Harry uses the trigger guard for retention. He does not use a wedge basically where you're forcing the entire muzzle of the gun into the holster. All of his molds are made off actual copies of the gun that are cut with a CNC machine to be very, very, very precise. He is obsessive about the details and he makes sure that the guns fit just so in all of these. He is very defensive minded so he really is thinking about the guys who are on the on the mat rolling with these in uh, combatives practice but as you know a parent with small kids, I can tell you that the fact that this isn't going anywhere until you absolutely just jerk on it and want it to come out is great peace of mind. There's nothing I can do in the course of the day that is going to dislodge this from where it is on my person at all. But it's not just an AIWB holster. How it configured now obviously set up for AIWB. I could ditch the claw, I could ditch these clips and go with some overhooks. Um, I can go with a single hook. You can see the holes on the holster really kind of give you some flexibility with how you mount the hook. Uh, he doesn't, he may not offer these clips anymore. He cycles through a lot of hardware because he takes holsters more seriously than anybody I've ever encountered. 
he goes through a lot of hardware. So some of the hardware I show you may not actually be in his rotation anymore. And to, to that point, this is the Ulta clip. This is what he used to recommend for uh, the super concealed holster set, which these discrete carry concept clips go. Now these are behind the belt um, clips. And same with the Ulti clip. This is designed to go onto your pants behind your, your belt. Uh, the discrete carry concept clips do a better job than the Ulta clip, which is just a little bit too thick. There's too much going on there. This little suspender tab wing doesn't always want to let go. This was a good solution for a while, but you can just see how big it is, how much material there is. These are just smaller and better to find. These, these are a premium feature on the website. If you go to discrete carry concepts directly, which is where I initially bought these clips, uh, they're like $13 a piece. Uh, Harry offers them as an upgrade on his holsters through his site for I think about that much. So it's a pretty good deal. It's pretty much the same as going direct to the website and he'll mount them on the holster for you. That's a good way to go. If you just want to go with a single clip, you can get one of these, which is, would be a tuckable single clip, which would be really suitable for, um, you know, three, four small back carry, whatever you want to do. And also if you like the classic uh, over the top single clip like that, you've got that option available to you as well. I'm not a big fan of these. They just kind of get in the way and get hooked on stuff. I'm much more a fan of this kind of setup. So this, in my opinion, is the ultimate. I do have a discount code with Harry. Harry did send me this holster. I've been carrying with Harry's holsters basically since I started carrying guns that he made holsters for, and I honestly couldn't be happier. I have a lot of high-end Kydex, and this is every bit as good as anything you can find available and better than most by a pretty significant margin. Not only that, but with the new color washer upgrades, I mean, this thing is just, it is, it is like the BMW M3 sleeper of a holster. It's just so amazing, and I am infatuated with it. It's super comfortable. I'm not going to throw in a bunch of B-roll footage of me out at the range and ring and steel and stuff to talk to you about a holster, but I will throw up some pictures of how it conceals. But all in all, I can say to you, if you carry a shield, if you carry a Glock 43, this is the holster that you want to carry. It's going to make the gun stay closer to your body. It's going to disappear under your clothes and it's going to do everything you want a holster to do better than you thought that it could. And this all sounds like over the top exaggeration, but if you've watched any of my videos about CZs, now about Glocks, any of those kinds of things, like when I latch onto a product, I become a, I won't say disciple, I won't say become evangelical about them, but I, I really believe in the product and that's this holster for me, especially now that he's upgraded it. This was already as good or better than anything on the market and he had no reason to upgrade his holsters other than he didn't think they were quite good enough. That's why we have this now and you should probably check into this if you're serious about holster. If you want to stop collecting holsters because they don't do anything just right for you, this is going to be how you do it. So as mentioned, guys, discount code is just the humble marksman, same as the channel name. Use that at checkout and you'll save 10% on the holster. I really think that you'll like this holster. Here we are, guys. We've made it to the end of the video. If you're still watching this, if you can hear the sound of my voice, then you are one of my bros. So what I'd like to do is talk about in the comments, don't even comment on the holsters and all this kind of stuff, although that's nice if you do. I want you to talk about the largest, most ridiculous things that you want to hang off your carry pistol, and that's why you can't carry a Glock 43 in the comments. The comments live forever on the internet, so what I really want the comments to be for this video is a bunch of people who want to hang the most ridiculous things off the non-existent rail on the 43 about why it is not a viable pistol for carry. So I need you guys to help me out on that. I look forward to reading your comments below and I'll give you the heart if you can play my game with me. As always guys, I appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.